We now have a basic signature ring with a logo on the inside. We created that logo from another file which was imported into this project. To add a little bit more detail to this signature, we'll add some text opposite to this logo on the inside of the ring. Now, this is a little bit more tricky than adding text to a flat surface. Let's just quickly look at that. If I zoom out and quickly draw a rectangle and then extrude it up, I can hover over that flat surface, press the spacebar, and then add text directly to that surface. That is, I'm drawing directly onto the extruded surface. And that's fine for adding flat text to a flat surface. I can then extrude the text down into the rectangle or out of the rectangle. And that's pretty easy. Let's delete that and come back to the ring. I'll also go back to where I left off last time so that there's no text on the inside. If I hover over the inside surface and press the spacebar, I can make that surface the active sketching plane. But I can't see anything because the ring gets in the way and I'm not really sure where I am on the plane. But I'll try to add some text anyway. Let's just enter in the word text and see what happens. When I rotate around and zoom in, you can see that the text has been created on this flat plane, which was created at a tangent to the curve. And there you can see the problem of trying to add flat text to a curved surface. And to add text this way is, well, it's just difficult and a bit annoying. So let's cancel that and double click the orientation cube to reset our view. I'll also hide my logo sketch to make things a bit clearer. Now I'll use the text tool and enter some text to add my signature, and I'll just see where that text lands. Notice the text has come in on the top plane. Two millimeters seems like an okay size. Click continue. The text is added and the move rotate tools become active. Now before I click done, I can move the text around to place it exactly where I want it to be, which is why I wasn't particularly concerned about where it came in because I thought, well, I can just move it to where I need it to be. I'm going to place it directly opposite the logo, which means I need to rotate it around a bit. Firstly, I'll rotate it 90 degrees and then I'll spin it around 180 degrees. Now I'll rotate my view and, well, that looks kind of okay, but it needs to move up a bit. That looks about right, so I'll click Done. And then exit the sketch and make sure everything's deselected. Now, when extruding surfaces that have been projected on an inside curve, Shaper 3D seems to work best with text when you project the regions of the text rather than the sketch outlines. So I'll select all these regions and then project. Then click the inside of the ring. And remember to hold down the shift key when trying to select multiple regions. It needs to be moved up a bit, so I'll select the sketch and then drag it up. Notice how the projection moves with it. And that's starting to look about right. I'll exit the sketch. Now, similar to when I imported the logo, the text has also been projected to the other side, as this is a projection on an inside circular face. So I'll quickly zoom in here and delete all the bits that I don't need. Now, I don't have to do this part, but it does make the drawing much neater. Now let's go back and extrude the text back into the wall of the ring. Hide the sketch first to make it easier to see. I'll make this a minus 0.4 millimeter extrusion. The minus means that the extrusion goes back into the wall of the ring. And there it is. Our signature ring now has a logo on the inside with some signature text on the opposite side. The next part is to start adding details to make our ring look a bit special. And there are endless options for this, of course. And in this example, we're going to start by using our golden spiral model and import that into this project. And that will look quite special. Now, if you found this video helpful, then hit the like button, leave a comment or question, and consider subscribing for more tutorials 
like this one. We'll see you next time.